Hey guys and welcome to this C program video on the greatest common divisor. So let's go ahead and get started. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a description for this um, uh, program. And we're going to say this program finds the GCD or greatest common divisor of two integers. So, and what that means is it's going to find the largest integer that can exactly divide both numbers without a remainder. All right, and now we can actually get started. So first what we're gonna do is um, import our libraries. So we're going to include stdio.h. And then we're going to create our main function. So integer main. And return 0, saying that the program ran fine. Um, we want to then ask the user to enter in two integers. So print. Um, enter two integers. So printf and then we say enter two integers and that will print to the screen there. So now we need two integers to store values in and uh, to get from the user. So I'm going to create two int integer values. So we're going to call them n1 and um, n2. And now let's go ahead and scan in those values. So we're going to scan in the two integers um, to variable n1 and n2. And we can do that using the scanf function and do percent %d since um, we're doing digits here or integers. So I need two percent %d's. And then the first one will store the value in n1, and the second one will store it in n2. And because this is C programming, I have to use the ampersand sign to store these values. Okay. Now let's get to the meat and bones of the program. So I'm going to create a loop uh, to loop through all possible values from i equals 1 to n1 or um, n2. So it'd be from i equals 1 to n1 or from i equals 1 to n2. And I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to go ahead and create this for loop. For i equals 1, i is going to be less than n1. Uh, let's do less than or equal to n1. And I want this to run while i is less than or equal to n2. And then we're going to increment, increment i by 1. OK, so don't get confused by this statement here. Just like uh, a normal for loop where you say something like uh, i is less than or equal to n, this is just another Boolean expression that's going to evaluate the true or false. So while i is less than or equal to n1 and while i is less than or equal to n2, continue looping uh, or continue doing this loop and we're going to keep incrementing i by 1 each time. And then one of these will evaluate the false, either n1 or n2. And then when that one evaluates to false, uh, the loop will end. All right. So now within this loop, we want to check if i is a factor of both integers. So we could do that using the modula operator. So if n1 mod 
i equals 0, that means it doesn't have a remainder, then we know that i is divisible, or that n1 is divisible by i. And if n2 mod i equals equals 0, then we know that uh, n2 is also divisible by i. So that means that our greatest common divisor is equal to i. So the only thing is I have not created this gcd variable yet. So I'm going to go ahead and create that up here. Integer gcd. And I never created our i variable. So I'll go ahead and create that here. Integer i. And so this gcd here, first, you know, i is going to be 1. And then i is going to increment. Maybe it'll be 2 um, if this statement is true true here and then uh, GCD will equal 2 but I is just going to keep incrementing all the way up to to the values either n1 or n2 and that way we're going to get the uh, greatest common divisor all right so next up let's print uh, the results so I'm gonna do printf I'm going to say g dot c dot d of percent d and percent d is percent d. And so our first percent d is just going to be n1. The second one will be n2. And the third will be our greatest common divisor, gcd. So let's give this a run. Save it as dot C. Sure, we can go ahead and run that there. So now it says enter two integers. So let's try uh, 100 and 50. So I believe the greatest common divisor is mm, 10, right? I think 10 in this case. No, it's 50. Okay, wow, I am completely off. Good thing my program is not. So 50 would be the greatest common divisor, of course, because uh, 100 goes into 52 times and 50 goes into 51 times. Um, let's try another one. Maybe 44 and 33. So now if I'm right this time, 11 should be the greatest common divisor. Yes. So GCD of 44 and 33 is 11. And let's give it another try. Uh, let me think. Uh, maybe 65 and 35. Actually, I have no clue uh, right off the bat. Okay, so that one's just 5. Um, and let me double check this. Uh, da -da. So we have uh, 5 goes into 35 seven times and then five goes into 65 13 times okay so yeah the greatest common divisor would be five so it seems like the program is working better than me uh, apparently for 150 but that's basically it thank you guys for watching please subscribe please leave likes please leave questions comments all that's appreciated and I'll be sure to include this code in the description below on my GitHub. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.